Welcome back to our channel, Lucy and Batik. Batik, say hi to your fans. Hi. Today is May 14th, and May 14th is International Chihuahua Day. So happy International Chihuahua Day. So International Chihuahua Day has a personal meaning to me because Batik is 64% Chihuahua. And so it made me think, hmm, where do Chihuahuas come from? What breed of dog is its ancestors? There are actually several speculations. In this video, I will talk about the different theories about their ancestors. But first, what we know for sure is that the Chihuahuas are known after Mexico's larger state called Chihuahua because this is where modern-day Chihuahuas were discovered in the 1800s. Specifically, in 1884, Mexican merchants started selling Chihuahuas, started selling the Chihuahua dogs to tourists, and then the tourists brought these Chihuahua dogs to the U.S. as pets. So that's what we know. But it's the origin of the Chihuahuas before the 1800s that no one seems to know for sure yet. Like I mentioned, there are speculations about this, Let's just move on to theory number one of the origin of Chihuahuas. Theory number one says that Chihuahuas are descendants of a companion animal breed that is called Tachichis that were bred and domesticated by the Maya civilization between 1800 BC and 900 AD, which is the period of time that the Maya civilization existed. Now, there are three findings that support this theory. The first finding is that when archaeologists unearthed burial shafts in Colima, Mexico, they found sculptures of a dog that looked like modern-day chihuahuas. And these sculptures date back to 300 BC. Archaeologists also found a 1,200-year-old figurine of a woman holding a baby and a small dog that has chihuahua features. And you can now find this figurine in New Orleans Tulane University. Now the third finding that support this theory is that archaeologists found whole tech carvings of small dogs that have features very similar to modern day chihuahua dogs. Now the Toltecs are the civilization that came after the Maya civilization. Archaeologists believe that these carvings um, of these dogs are the Tachichis. Now Back then in ancient civilizations, starting from the Maya civilization, they believed that dogs were sacred because they believed that dogs were guides to the afterlife. They would sacrifice, mummify, and bury dogs alongside their owners because they believed that the spirits of these dogs would guide the spirits of their owners to the afterlife. Now, the Toltec civilization and the and the Aztec civilization that came after the Maya civilization had the same beliefs about dogs as the Maya civilization. But the Aztec civilization took it a little bit further in that they also believed that diseases could be transferred from humans to dogs. And once a disease was transferred from a human to a dog, then the human was cured. But there is something, there is a fact about the Chichis and Chihuahuas that put this theory into question. On average, the Chichis weigh between 10 pounds and 20 pounds, which is twice the weight of an, of an average modern day Chihuahua. An average modern day Chihuahua weighed maximum 6 pounds. And also, the, the Chichis were mute and only had long coats, whereas some Chihuahuas have short coats and obviously they're not mute. So, because of these couple differences between the Chichis and the Chihuahuas, there is theory number two, which is that Chihuahuas are a result of crossbreeding between the Chichis and a small hairless dog known as the Chinese Crested. One fun fact, actually kind of sad fact, is that the Chinese Crested dog is the dog breed that always wins the world's ugliest dog. Okay, so anyway, in this second theory, people believe that the Chinese explorers or merchants brought the Chinese crested dog to Central and North America and bred these Chinese crested dogs with the Tichichis to result in modern-day Chihuahuas. But 
A hole in that theory is that what is known in history is that the Chinese immigration to the Americas did not happen until mid to late 1800s. And the Tachichis had existed way before that, before Christopher Columbus even discovered the Americas. And so it seems impossible that the Chihuahuas are, is a result of the crossbreeding between Tachichis and the Chinese crested dogs, right? Based on what we know from history. However, people who believe in this second theory is that the Chinese immigrants actually had discovered the Americas before Christopher Columbus did. If that's the case, then that would be possible that the Chihuahuas, that the, that the Chinese crested dogs were bred with the Chi-Chi's to produce modern day Chihuahuas. But what do you guys think? That the Christopher Columbus isn't the first person who discovered the Americas and that maybe the Chinese immigrants had discovered the Americas before Christopher Columbus? Let me know what you guys think down below. Another hole in this theory is that the Chinese grassed dog on average weighed 10 to 13 pounds. Again, much larger than the modern day Chihuahua. And like I said before, the Chi Chi's on average weigh 10 to 20 pounds, also bigger than the Chihuahua. So biologically, if you crossbreed uh, the Chi Chi's and Chinese crested dogs, and they're both weigh more than 10 pounds, how would you get a dog breed that weighs maximum six pounds. Yeah. Okay, so then there's a third theory. The third theory is that modern day chihuahuas originated from the island country of Malta, which is 50 miles or 80 kilometers below Italy. Some people believe that the chihuahuas are related to the Maltese dogs because they share an undeveloped gap in their skulls. About 80 to 90% of chihuahuas have this undeveloped cranial gap. And there's a painting, the Sistine Chapel, that was done by Renaissance painter Sandro Botticelli that shows a small boy holding a small dog that looks very much like the modern day chihuahua. What do you guys think? Doesn't that look like a modern day chihuahua? I think it does. So which theory is right? Um, let me know what you guys think. Which theory you think is the most reasonable theory to explain the origin or the ancestors of the chihuahua dogs? Let me know in the comment down below. Now, researchers from KTH Royal Institute of Technology in Stockholm, Sweden actually compared the DNA from modern day chihuahuas to the DNA of Asian dogs and the DNA of European dogs. And they actually found no connection between the, chihuahua, the modern day chihuahuas and any of the Asian dogs or European dogs. They did, however, find Chihuahua's unique DNA in dog breeds from Mexican pre-Columbian era. So that does suggest that, that Chihuahua's ancestors did exist in Mexico before the European explorers covered the Americas. So I think that's closest to what Theory 1 was saying and that Chihuahuas are descendants of the Tachichi that were bred and domesticated by the Maya civilization, which is in the pre-Columbian era. But yeah, what oh. do you guys think? Do you guys, believe? as you probably know, um, if you were born in the nineteen before the nineteen nineties, the Chihuahua was popularized in the U.S. in the nineteen nineties through the Taco Bell commercials that featured a talking chihuahua called Gidget Chipperton. I, did you guys know the name? I didn't know the name. I know the commercials, but I never knew that the talking chihuahua had a name. Number must be raised to equal a given number. What is a logarithm? What is a logarithm? You're absolutely right. Yo quiero taco, man. Hey, taco lovers, get all the tacos you can eat for just 69 cents each. Lots of beef, lettuce, and real cheddar in a taco for just 69 cents. Taco Bell. Want some? And more recently, the chihuahuas are popularized by movies like the Beverly Hill Chihuahuas and Legally Bond. So that is the interesting theories of the origins of the chihuahuas. And thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more videos in this channel about animal topics.
likes. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you want to follow Batik, it has an Instagram called Batik the Doll. If you want to follow me, my Instagram is Lucilin underscore YouTube. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!